There are various ways that you can duplicate content on Squarespace, and I use these tools all the time to not only help with consistency in creation of my website, but also just to make things go quicker. So if you are up for that, let's dive in. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you, there's like five specific duplication options, and then I have a bonus, like a favorite feature that I'll show you how to use. But we're gonna go over how to duplicate a whole page, a section of a page, like specific content on the page, how to duplicate a blog post, and how to duplicate a product, and then how to use this, I call it the favorite feature, to like save something one from one page and put it on another. So let's dive in. I'm going to come into edit mode of my own website and show you how to do these things. So first up is a page. I have lots of pages. I experiment with things and build things and change things all the time. So don't mind how many pages I have. Let's just come to, I'm gonna hover over this press, press kit page here in my left pages sidebar and I'm gonna click this little settings gear. And then I'm gonna scroll down in this general tab and you can see duplicate page. You want to confirm that you, yes, want to duplicate the page. It will pop it up under the not linked section of your site. So that means it's it could be live on your website, but it's not gonna be in your main menu until if you want it there, you can put it in there. So page duplication example, give it the title. And then there is my duplicated press kit page. Now, when you do this, I'm gonna click into the settings gear again of our duplicated page. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you come in and change the URL slug. So if you duplicate something like, say I did my about page, it'll say about one or home slash one. That's not great URL slug practices. So let's come in here and change it and just make it something clean that represents your new duplicated page. I'm gonna save that. The next thing we're going to duplicate is a section of a page. So we'll just use this page as our example. We'll come into edit mode. And when I say a section, you can see when I hover over this, it says edit section. So basically everything that has this marble background is the section. So kind of the whole page basically. So if I hit these two little squares here of the section, that means duplicate. So now we have the whole section duplicated over again. A way that I use this, in this example would be if I put like everything in one section and then I change my mind, I'm like, you know what? I want to change up the layout of this a little bit. I might delete the images from this section, delete the text from this section. Let's move our images up here and adjust the spacing. And then I might come in here, edit section, delete the background, change the color. And then that would be a way and a reason to duplicate a section. So you can change the styling and separate things out into separate sections. So that is how you can use the duplicate section tool. Next up is how to duplicate just a simple text block or an image block or multiple things at a time. Let's see, if I just click on my text block here, you can see it also has the two little blocks to let you know you can duplicate it. So you can do that as well. I, this just one block across the whole screen is not very helpful to duplicate. What might be helpful though is when you're creating columns, say I create a column over here and I want one just like it to match over here, I would duplicate that and then I already know they're the same size, they have the same text styling. That would be a reason you could duplicate your just a text block. You can also, let's say, let's drop in an image real quick. Let's make these a little bit shorter so we can see what we're doing here. Delete that one. If I put an image in here, let me grab one real quick. It's already on my website. I'll use this video that just went live. We'll grab its thumbnail. So let's say we want to duplicate the image and the text together. I'm going to select both of them by clicking one, holding down shift, click, selecting the other one, and then duplicate, and you can duplicate both things at one time. So that is how you duplicate content in various different ways. We'll go ahead and save that. Um, this is just our practice page here. Next thing we want to do, we'll exit out of here, and let's talk about duplicating blog posts. 
If I come into Learn, that's my blog. If I scroll down far enough, you can see I have this no title blog post. And I've set up this blog post. It's blank, essentially, with just kind of the outline that I use for every single blog post that I have. So instead of every time I make a new post, I recreate like this title and this button and the timestamps and my email sign up and the summary of my latest blog post. Like that's easy, but it's really tedious to do. So I set it up in a blank blog post. And then whenever I go to create a new blog post, instead of just starting fresh, I hover over the blog post that I want to duplicate, hit the three little dots and then duplicate. And that way I have this structure already in place for me. And when I go into edit mode, I just add the title, I add my text, my specific timestamps. I already have this image here ready for my thumbnail. I've got buttons ready for my links. And then I just come in here. I'm gonna actually save this in my template. Have text ready for the actual body of the blog post. And that is how and why you might want to duplicate a blog post. So I'm gonna hit save and exit on that. Last but not least, sort of, on the like official duplication list is how to duplicate a product. So I have a pretend store somewhere here on my site. There we go. You come into your store. Let's click into this little pretend product I have here. We're gonna edit the product. And right up here in the top, you see those two little squares again? All you gotta do is duplicate and then all of your product settings stay the same and you have a duplicate product in your store. Um, I didn't actually duplicate it, but that is how you do it. So those are the official duplication. Now let me go back to our pretend duplicated page and show you um, something that I use all the time. So when I'm creating a site, you see my little header up here. It's got the press kit with the background and the, the divider. I like to have the headers of each of my pages be the same. So what you can do is create your header section or whatever section you want to like have on each page. And we're going to hit this little heart button right here. We're not going to duplicate it here. We're going to save it as a section. You can save it to, I think this site usually just makes sense. This is a new feature. You can save the, I call it a favorite section to your site, or you can save it to your whole account. So if you are working on multiple accounts, multiple sites, you can have the section saved to choose from, but I always just stick to this site. So we're gonna save it to this site. And then let's see, let's pick a different page so I can show you how it actually works. Let's come to Squarespace discount. By the way, if you want a discount on Squarespace, pop your name and email in at designingtheroad.com slash Squarespace, and I will send you a discount code. But if I click add section here and come into saved sections, you can see I've saved lots of sections here. All I have to do is click this press kit here and that is added to my page. So it's like duplicating in a way, but it's not called duplication. I use this on every site that I create. And then you, all you have to do is like change the title and then change the, the tagline to be what you want on your other pages and you can change the background image but basically that helps so all you have to change is the background image and the text you don't have to go start a new section add in the image get the overlay color correct add in the um, the little divider at the bottom get the text block the right size every time all you got to do is just paste it in your new page change the text change your image and you can move along and that way you know it's consistent across your whole site. Um, love this feature, if you couldn't tell. Um, another reason that I use this feature, if I go add section and save sections again, sometimes when I'm deleting things from my website and I'm like, well, I think I wanna delete it, but I really like it, I'm not sure, maybe I wanna bring it back, <laughs> um, I will save it as a section. So if I change my mind, I can always come back and, and put it back in there. You can see I have a lot of safe sections here. That is how I use that. I use it all the time, clearly. Again, if you want a discount, come get one, designingtheroad.com slash Squarespace. Um, I can also set you up for an extended trial. Squarespace will give you two weeks. I can give you one year. 
put your name and email in here and you'll get the info on how to get that. So that is how you duplicate content on Squarespace. This was specifically for Squarespace 7.1. If you're having trouble, that might be why. Maybe you're on the wrong editor. You can figure out which editor you're on by scrolling all the way to the bottom of your pages and you can see right here it says version 7.1 for me. If you're on 7.0, this likely will not work and you probably need to get to 7.1 anyway. So duplicating content on Squarespace, super helpful for time and consistency. If you liked these five, six, however many ways that was to duplicate content, maybe the next video you should watch, I will link here for you, is five ways to add video to your site. That way you can kind of spice it up a little bit, add some movement, add some more content to your site. Five ways to add video, I will link that up, watch it next, and I will see you over there.